right, we bought one of these G Spot or G Spot um, little dent pullers, spot weld dent pullers from PP Supplies. Uh, nice, quick, friendly service from PP Supplies. Can't fault them. Um, we used this most of the day yesterday on this transformer. I'll stick some videos up of what we've done on that. I just thought I'd do, if there's anyone else that's mongs like us and don't know how to use it, because the instruction booklet don't tell you hardly anything, so you have to work it out yourself. So if this helps someone out, then it might be worth it. There's still bits of it that we don't understand, but you know, maybe if someone knows, they can give us a shout and tell us what they are. Right, this is what we got in the boxes. We've got the main unit, little slide hammer, doodah for the little stars. Uh, the earth, the earth magnetic earth clamp we bought separate. I don't think you need it if you can attach this bit to it somewhere. Um, it's got the uh, automatic handle gun thing, whatever you call it. The manual ones have got a trigger in normally. But it's just a quick release. Slide all your attachments in now. Yeah. Uh, this little one that slides on it. And it uh like more of a precision one. You just hold it on and it zip and you just pull them out. Uh, Got the long arm with a claw on it. This is quite handy. It's got the little soft pads that don't do any damage. Once it's done up a bit tight, it stays where it is. What we got in these? Little wiggly wires for around the arches and that. And this bit to put them on. I ain't got a clue what that bit is. I did put it in the gun and pull the trigger, but nothing happened. This bit puts all your put all your rings on. This bit we've used it. I don't know if we used it right, but we just slid that in and so I just set it into number four. Um, in the instruction manual it says carbon electrode for tempering so I'm guessing that's the carbon bit and it sort of heats up and pulses I'm guessing that's the bit you use to shrink the metal that's what we used on here I'll put a video on of what we've done to this door and how bad it was but yes yeah, all these burn marks are where we've used that and we've used a long arm all around it and bashed the crap out of it. <clears throat> yeah, this Allen key for doing the gun up. You've got the rod for sliding through all of these. Once you've got a long line of these, you slide that through and Use the claw on it. I ain't got a clue what that is. I ain't got a clue what that is. These are the little stars that go in the slide hammer. Um, what else? We've got this. And I'm guessing it's got a little magnet in there. Put all these little rings on. I don't know if that's for the rings or not, or what it attaches to. Yeah, it took me about an hour to set all that up. Um, that was 1200 quid from PMP Supplies. Right, we're going to have a little go on this. I'll use a couple of different attachments. It's got a 
big high point all the way along here so I'm just gonna have a go at sticking some different bits along here and tapping this in not pretending that we know what we're doing but we have a little play anyway don't we Al? Mm. well you do play with your winky <laughs> First number shows all your tools. I think it's this bit in the instruction manual. I'm guessing. Number one does your, your stars and your little handheld chevy. Number two for your wiggly wires and your long rings. Number three. I'm guessing it's that thing, but I don't know. Four, I'm guessing it's that, it seemed to work. Five, what's number five? Welding rivets for side rods. Don't know. Six, there's your little rings. Seven. Welding studs for vehicle body and connecting beams, whatever that means. But we won't be using them. Right, undo it that way. Slide it in. Do that up. That's ready to go. <coughs> Need a low earth magnetic earth. Take this off. I didn't know that was on it the first time, so like a mong, I'm trying to use it and that's on it. It's, this is the bit that's got to be touching the bare metal, that's the earth. And just like that, make sure that's touching. Uh, that's another one. This end should be a bit cleaner really. We'll give that a quick clean. It's got a bit of a build up of metal on the end and it'll just spark. So I'll clean that up quickly. Nice clean tip. Automatic, so you literally just touch it and give it a little. Don't overdo it, or you get a high spot. Efficient this one. Just working all right. All right, show you the other one quickly. Any of these cleaned up? No, I cleaned the legs this morning, but then I used them. <laughs> They're all probably dirty. They're clean, son. See if it works. I can see any air left in the fucking thing.
That worked all right, I think. Mm. So is that a low spot there then? So I thought this bit was... This, this is flat, there's no curve. So you want to try and put a curve back in there? Just, yeah, just lift this up slightly. You finish what they've like done? Like that, then. this has come up. Mm. Right, Rodney through here. And this is where you need four hands. Right, we chose the wrong panel because it's where it's curved, it's not getting enough purchase for the feet to be able to lift it up. But it's got enough to just give it a bit of tension. Just enough to get rid of your eye spot. Just wiggle off. What have we got? Do you want to go with a slide hammer, Al? Not really. Go on. <sighs> Doing it or not? Do you want me to? Come on. What bit do you want me to do? Do it over here in front of everyone. Yeah. <coughs> oh, that stinks. Thanks, mate. Yeah, still the same yeah. setting. So the same one as. Yeah. Did you change the setting for for them? No, forgot. Right. It seemed to work. But right, which bit do you want me to do? Um, just have a go along here. Just to show how it works, even if it don't fucking do what we want. It's going to lift off the table, isn't it? Yeah. Fuck Right, bad choice. Go back to the little manual squeezy one now. Look at him in all his glory. Yep, bad choice because the slide hammer was lifting the panel up. Yeah, just like that. Little gentle ones.
meant to do that. That's it. Just little gentle ones, little precision, little tugs. Yeah, I still need a bit of filler. We ain't that good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if anyone knows how to use the extra bits that we don't, please let us know. Because we can't find any videos on it. Uh, what ones? That. 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 These ones and how to use this properly. Actually, we could set that up and show you what we've done with it, couldn't we? Right, carbon. What was it? Carbon electrode for tempering. Tempering's hardening, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, where's the. Guessing, slides in. Um, number four, press the tool button. Got number four, and it will have the preferred setting for the power. You can hear it pulsing and doing something. If you've got a bit of metal that's pent in and going bonk 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 The idea is to go along and heat it up and it will stop it, it worked on the transport door anyway most of it but yeah that ends up glowing red hot, I don't know how long these last for or where you get spares from but we'll probably keep using it until something trips out or blows up <laughs> We blow hole in something. Yeah, it gets red hot all the way along. Ah. That was the other thing, setting it up. It had a picture for everything apart from these bits. I had to find another picture somewhere. It's got, this sort of sits it in place, but it's got holes to put the screws that are in the welding machine, but guaranteed if I take them out, something will fall apart inside it and it'll all fuck up and won't work anymore. Um, let show you the tool select button, one to seven, press the button and then it go to what one, and when that stops flashing, you can change the power up and down. That's about it, I think. I think the best thing to do is just get one and have a play about. It's all we done. Gradually pick it up as you go along. I think Al's gone round and pulled most of this out. Just finishing it all with a bit of fibre fill. This was stoved right in and the door weren't opening. And Mr. Al sorted that out. Clever little sausage. Arch was stoved in all the way along here. This was all stoved in. All that bit down here, and all this back lip is all bent out. He's had a good crowbar and a hammer as well. But, I don't think we would have got it like that with my old Powertech pin puller. It's a bit more of an animal. So what would you say, Al? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Is it a worthwhile buy? Is it worth 1,200 quid? Yeah.
Well, I didn't pay for it, so. He didn't pay yeah. for it. Well, neither did I yet. Yeah. The government grant did. Oh, yeah. Sunak paid for it. Yeah, how Sunak paid for it, good lad. But yeah, that's what we know about it. If anyone knows anything that we don't, please let us know. Uh, feel free to check out our other videos of us fucking stuff up and then sorting it out again. Winging it! <laughs>